In Dublin, a special concert will take place to mark the end of the year of the gathering. And our reporter Lisa McKelvey is in Dublin city centre. Lisa, what's planned there? Well, Anthony, tonight's New Year's Eve festival here in Dublin marks not just the beginning of 2014, but also the end of the gathering celebrations. Now, you can see it kicking off here behind me. There is the People's Procession of Light, a lantern procession with lots of colour, lots of street performers, aerial performers and musicians. There is lots going on here at the National Lung Health Awareness Week Roadshow at the Science Gallery and it's all aimed at educating people about the dangers of lung disease. A sleepy early morning Dublin, but a small corner is wide awake. This may look like a scene from a nightclub in Ibiza, but it's actually only half past seven in the morning in Dublin city centre. There's around 500 people here. They came to dance, to rave and to have fun at most of them before work. Now you can see there's lots of visual stuff going on here today and here to tell me a little bit more about the science element of the roadshow is Andy Maggio from Bodyworks on Tour. Andy, tell me what your role is in all of this. Lisa, do we know anything more about the problem in the UK and when it might be resolved? Yes, well, Nats are saying that the technical issue arose at its Swanwick Centre in Hampshire in the UK. Basically, they had a problem switching from nighttime to daytime operations. Ryanair has issued a statement saying that the situation isn't expected to be resolved before four o'clock this afternoon. Now, if that is the case and if it continues beyond then, it's fair to say that airports both here and in the UK will experience a serious headache over the coming days. Having lived in Crumlin with her two boys for the past two and a half years, Emma Costello was recently told by Dublin City Council she has to move. The issue raised by Sinn Féin this week looks set to be replicated all over the country. In this case, Dublin City Council says it's working with Emma to source alternative accommodation. A taste of Africa. Traditional song, dance... Food and crafts were on display today at Farmley to celebrate Africa Day. Today's event coincides with the annual Africa Day celebrations taking place across the world. But this year is quite significant. It's the 50th anniversary of the founding of the African Union.